Hello everyone. So this video, you're not going to be seeing my face that much because we're going to be looking at our math map. And so today for our math, we're going to be talking about sharing and how we can split up all a bunch of stuff into smaller groups so that we can share it with people. Like if we've got cookies or crackers or fruit snacks so that we know that we can take a big sum of those and split them into smaller groups to share with other people. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the camera and I'm gonna show you my math map. So my math map, it says, how can we share? So what are these? Does anyone know what these are? They are crackers. Let's count the crackers. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six crackers, but we want to share them with our friends. How many friends do we have? Let's count. One, two, three. We have three friends. So we have six crackers and three friends. So these crackers are just pictures. I can't pick them up and move them. But I went in my house, so I'm not at school, I'm at my house, so I don't have all of our stuff that we have at school, but I tried to find something at my house that I can use to have pieces. So I found these puzzle pieces. So I'm gonna use these puzzle pieces because I didn't have crackers. So it's okay if you don't have crackers, but I've got puzzle pieces. So then I can move them. So what I'm gonna do is I've got one, two, three, four, five, six crackers and one, two, three friends. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give everybody one and see how many everyone gets and how many I'm left over with. So I'm gonna give her one, I'm gonna give him one, and I'm gonna give her one. Now these ones are done. I've already used these. So everybody has one, but how many do I have left? One, two, three. I have three. Now I'm going to give everybody one more and see how many we have left. Okay, so I'm going to give her one. I'm going to give him one. And I'm going to give her one. Okay, so all these crackers are used up. All of them are used up. Does everybody have the same number of crackers? Let's count. One, two. She has two. How many does he have? One, two. He has two. How many does she have? One, two. Good. Everybody has two. So I can split six crackers up into three groups of two, because here's one group, two group, three group, and everybody has two crackers. So I took six crackers and I split them into three different groups. And now everybody has the same amount of crackers and everybody can share. So we're gonna do something just like this. I'm gonna flip it over. And it still says, how can we share? And I've got baskets. Let's count how many baskets I've got. One, two, three, four. I have four baskets. Well, I'm gonna take some of my puzzle pieces and then I'm gonna put them here at the bottom and I want us to split them up between these baskets, but I want everybody to get the same amount. Okay, so I'm gonna put some puzzle pieces down here because I can take my puzzle pieces and I can pick them up and I can move them and I can touch them. If we were in class, I'd be using the blocks, but I don't have any blocks at my house. Maybe you do, but I don't. Okay. So I've got some puzzle pieces. So let's count how many puzzle pieces we have. I want you to be counting with me. So count with me. Here we go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. We can all count to ten. Well, I'm going to add some more, okay? All right. Are you ready? Hang on, I'm adding some more puzzle pieces. Okay, I added some more pieces. Let's count and see if we know how many pieces there are. Here we go, we're gonna start over again. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve puzzle pieces. And I want to put puzzle pieces in each of my baskets so that I can share with my friends. All right, so our first step we're going to put one puzzle piece in each basket. Are you ready? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Does each basket have a puzzle piece in it? Yes, it does. But we've got all these other pieces left over here down at the bottom. What do you think we should do? Should we just get rid of them? Or should we keep passing out puzzle pieces? Yeah, we should keep passing out puzzle pieces. Let's put one more in each basket. All right, so I'm gonna leave the puzzle pieces still in there, but I'm gonna come down to the bottom and I'm gonna put one more in each basket. One, two, three, four. How many puzzle pieces are in each basket? Hmm, let's count them. One, two. Two in that basket. One, two. Two in that basket. One, two. Two in that basket. And one, two. Two in that basket but I've still got these other ones left over. What am I gonna do with those? Am I gonna put them in the trash or am I gonna keep passing out? That's right, I'm gonna keep passing out. All right, let me pass. We're gonna pass one more puzzle piece in each basket. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Look, I used all of them up. There's no more puzzle pieces down at the bottom. They're all in the basket. How many puzzle pieces are in each of my baskets? Let's count them. One, two, three. This one has three. One, two, three. This one has three. One, two, Three, this one has three too. One, two, three. This one also has three. So they all have three pieces. So we took 12 pieces down at the bottom and we put them into four different groups, four different baskets. And now each basket has three pieces in it. Good job. All right. So I'm going to post an activity on our Google Classroom of something just like this to do at home. I'm going to tell you how many groups there are and how many pieces you need. And you're going to split them up into each group and see how many pieces you're going to wind up with in each group. Good job, guys. So this was our last lesson for today. So we did a reading lesson with our letter U and we did a math lesson with our sharing. 
Good job, guys. Don't forget to be doing your activities, okay? All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.